Hello everyone, hope you are doing fine. In this video also we are going to see MCQ questions on shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. So with this we will come to the uh, end of the MCQ questions. In the next video will be a revision of all the shear force diagrams and bending moment diagrams of different kinds of beams. So let's get started. And before we start, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it. So the first question, with reference to the list 1, uh, match list 2 and select the correct answer by using codes given below the list. Okay, so this is another simply supported beam. So they have asked shear force at A, B, C and D. So this is my A, B, C and D. So firstly, I have to find what is shear force at A. Shear force at A will be equal to reaction at A. So I have to find what is reaction at A. For that, I have to uh, equate moment at D is equal to 0. On doing so, so my RA is 43 kg. So I can say that A matches with 3. So these two things are correct so i can eliminate option a and option d so from these two i have to find so i can see that for b it is one for both the things therefore my shear force at b is going to be six i don't need to you know uh, find it again but even if you have to find it is easy only it is 43 here and since uh, 37 is coming here 43 minus 36 we will have obviously six here so it's 43 and then it will reduce to six so this will be 6. Okay. So we have to find shear force at C next. What will be my shear force at C? You can see that till this point it will be constant. That is till this, if this is C, this will be constant. And after that we have our UDL. And because of the UDL, uh, our uh, shear force diagram will become linearly varying like this. So it will become something like this. And it will go like this. So this will have our shear force diagram will look. And at C you can see that it is the same. At C also it is going to be 6 only. So uh, shear force at C is also 1. So the answer is option C. Because this says it is 48. Obviously it cannot be 48 at C. Therefore your answer is option C. So uh, looking at the options you can see that there are two ones here. So don't come into conclusions that there cannot be two ones. So the answer must be option B. Just uh, before you conclude make sure that it is correct. Just do a small check. Next question. A 10 meter long beam carries two point loads. When the shear force diagram is drawn there are two rectangles of 10 into 2 meter. Starting from one end and above the base, okay, and the other is below the baseline and it is at the other end. So, the bending moment at the center of the beam is what? So, since I have shear force at the ends, I can say that it is a simply supported beam. So, a simply supported beam of length 10 meter and since the intensity of the shear force is 10, I can say that uh, the reaction is also 10. And they have told that it is subjected to two point loads. If it is 10 here and then it becomes 0 here, the shear force, it becomes 0 here. Which means we have another 10 kN acting here. Only because of it, uh, the shear force has increased and then nullified to 0 and then it be, uh, becomes constant. And then again, it comes to minus 10. Which means again, at this point, we have another 10 kN. So this is our beam diagram. From this we have to find what is the bending moment at the center. So this is 2 meter. This will be 3 meter. To 20. So the answer is 20 kN meter. Next question. The shear force along the beam is shown in, uh, shown in the figure is what? So my beam is something like this. So this is my force acting. So force into my perpendicular distance. Shear force it is always related to vertical forces. Horizontal forces will not cause any effect on the uh, shear force. So in this cantilever beam, we have only one vertical force. It is VA that is at the support. And if we summate all the vertical forces, it will be equal to zero. And therefore, VA will also be zero because there are no vertical forces acting in the beam here. So VA is equal to zero. Since there are no vertical forces in this beam, I can say that the shear force in the beam is zero. Whereas if my beam had been something like this, if it this is 10 and this is 2 meter, then this beam can be written like this. This 10 into 2 will cause a clockwise moment. So I will have a 20 kilonewton meter uh, clockwise moment and this 10 
kilonewton, right? It will be transferred to this point. So I'll have I'll have a, a you know a moment and also a vertical force. In this case, since we have a vertical force, our shear force will be present. Next question: the correct shear force diagram for the beam shown in figure is what? So, in order to confuse you or to challenge you, I have got another question here. So, in this question, you can see that again we have an axial force here, and uh, it is uh, something like this. So, in the previous video, I mean, in the previous question, it was a cantilever beam. Whereas in this video, it is a simply supported beam. So, uh, let, for simply supported beam, it is always good to find our RA and RB values. So, uh, let me draw this beam again. It'll be something like this. And this 10, 1 ton meter. So, this is my moment that is acting on the beam. So, this is my moment. Therefore, I have to find what is my RA and what is my RB. So, R is equal to minus 0.1 ton and RB will be equal to, you know, RA plus RB is equal to 0. So, therefore, RB will be equal to 0.1 ton. So, if I draw my shear force diagram, since upward is positive, but it is in minus sign. So, minus 0.1 and then a moment will not play any role in the shear force diagram. Only any vertical forces will play a role in shear force diagram. Therefore, it will be the same and then when we come here, this is an upward force. So, what is the sign convention when we are going from the left, upward is positive. Whereas, when we are coming from the right, downward is positive. But since we are going from the left, you can see that it is positive. So, this is minus 0.1 plus 0.1, it will become 0 here. So, my shear force diagram will be something like this. This 0.1 ton, option A. Next question, a simply supported beam of span L is loaded as shown with the load intensity W1 per unit length at A and W2 per unit length at B. The shear force at support B is what? So, simply supported beam, if they ask shear force at uh, the support, then you have to just find the uh, reaction at the support. So, in this case, they have asked at B, so I have to find just RB. Finding that is enough. So, how will I find RB? I will just equate moment at A is equal to 0. When I do it, it becomes RB into L is equal to, since this is... Uh, anti-clockwise and this will produce a clockwise moment. I am just uh, uh, equating them both. So, RB into L is equal to, uh, let me divide this trapezium into a rectangle and a triangle. So, firstly, let me uh, consider the rectangle. So, the intensity of the rectangle is W1, the height is W1, whereas the length is L. So, it is W1 into L into uh, the centroidal distance will be L by 2. Next, I have to consider the triangle. So, if you take the triangle, the load intensity will be W2 minus W1 because the whole uh, height is W2, but we need only this height. So, therefore, it is W2 minus W1 and the length is also L. So, this will become area of the triangle is half into length into height is W2 minus W1 into what is our centroidal distance? It is this is our point, therefore, this is our centroidal distance. It is two third of L. So, into two third of L. That is W1 L by 6 plus W2 L by 3. So, our answer is option C. Going to the next question. The beam shown in the figure has a design value bending moment of what? So, what is our design value bending moment in this beam? So, uh, it is very, very simple. Just find what is the bending moment caused by this overhanging part. 4 into the distance is 0 0.5. So, the answer is 2 kN meter. So, you can see that this is my beam. And uh, this load, it causes a anti-clockwise moment of 2 kN meter. That is a clockwise moment of 4 kN. So, this causes a moment here. Therefore, uh, the net moment at this point will be 2 kN meter clockwise. And then again, we have 2 kN meter here. So, you can see that they both are same. So, I can say that this is my, uh, you know, the design value bending moment. So, the answer is D. Next question, the cantilever beam shown is subjected to moments as shown in figure. The bending moment diagram will be what? So, I have a cantilever beam. At the end, it is subjected to clockwise moment of 50 kN meter. And at uh, some point, it is subjected to an anti-clockwise uh, moment of 30 kN meter. 
if I draw the shear force diagram for this, I can say that the shear force diagram will be zero because there are no vertical forces acting here. Whereas when I draw my uh, bending moment diagram, this is uh, 50. So if you look at the diagram, only this suits it. Therefore, this is the answer. Next question. A uh, fixed end moment MA shown in figure is what? So they have asked what is this MA and you can see there is a hinge here. So uh, if I have a hinge then it becomes very easy. I can say just equate all the moments about this point. So when I have a hinge what happens? This will behave as a separate unit. At the hinge I will assume that there is simply supported end. At the, so since it is a you know hinged point only we will assume that the moment at the hinge will be equal to 0. So if I need to find MA, it is very easy. I will just have to uh, equate moment at B is equal to 0 uh, from the left side. So it is MA anti-clockwise direction. I have RA, it is in the opposite direction. So MA minus RA into 4 is equal to 0. When I equate all the vertical forces is equal to 0, it will become RA plus RC is equal to the only vertical forces 20 here. So 20 kN. From this, if I find RC, I will be able to find RA and then I, with that I will be able to find MA. So what is RC? For RC, again I have to just equate moment at B is equal to 0 but this time from the left side. So from this, I will get that RC is equal to 30. So, if RA plus RC is equal to 20, this means that RA is equal to minus 10 kN. Means MA is equal to RA into 4. RA is minus 10 into 4. It is minus 40 kN meter. So, the answer is option D. Next question. The propped cantilever beam shown in figure is figure given is having internal hinge at its mid span. Which one of the following is the shape of the bending moment diagram for the given load? Okay, so this will behave something like this. A cantilever, right? So it will have hinge. Since it has a hinge, it will act like two vertical supports present here and then this. So if you look at this part of the beam, it is just a simply supported beam subjected to UDL. So what will be my uh, bending moment? It will be, you know, hogging. That is the beam deflection diagram will be like this. It will be hogging. Therefore, it will have positive bending moment. And the bending moment diagram, it will be like this. We will have positive bending moment diagram. So anything that has for this side, anything that has a negative bending moment, you can eliminate it. So you can eliminate option A and C. So next if you come to this part it is a UDL again. So for a UDL we know uh, that the bending moment diagram will be a curve whereas here it is a straight line. So you can uh, eliminate option B also. Your answer is option D. Next question. Uh, in case of I section the web resists what? So uh, this is my I section. This is my web. These are my flanges. So web will always take care of shear. Flanges will always take care of bending moment. So Keep this in mind, this question has been asked in so many interviews, so many uh, competitive exams. So the answer for this is the web resists mainly shear force. If it had been flange here, the answer would be bending moment. So with this, we come to the end of this video. In the next video, let us look into the uh, shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for almost all the types of beams and all types of loadings also. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.